Welcome back, everyone. Today, I want to go over a method that I've found is useful when storing your trolling spoons. Uh, this method both allows for easy storage as well as uh, accessibility to your spoons while you're out on the water. Um, and as an added bonus, at the end, we'll show you how to add an LED light strip to this if you have glow-in-the-dark spoons to help keep them activated while they're in the box. So the first thing you're gonna need is some sort of a storage box. And um, I prefer uh, a, just a single large box for all my spoons. Um, this one doesn't take up too much room. I'll drop a, a link to all of these materials in the uh, description. Uh, but this can be suited to pretty much any storage container you'd like with a, with a couple of requirements. The first of which is you need to make sure that in order to stand the spoon up vertically that the box is deep enough to handle that. Um, outside of that, it really comes down to, you know, how much space do you have on your boat to store these things and, and, and how do you want to arrange them. Um, you can go with one big wide box to store everything or you can go with uh, smaller boxes and, and have more of them. Just depends on the number of spoons you have and, uh, and sort of your spacing uh, availability. So the next thing you're gonna need is some high density closed cell foam like uh, polyethylene. And um, if you're not sure what that is, it's basically the same stuff that pool noodles are made out of. So if you've ever you know, been around a pool or, or had kids that play with these things, you kind of know what I'm talking about. It's relatively lightweight, but it's a uh, closed cell so it, it, it doesn't let water get in. Um, and it's pretty tough material. And that's ideal for holding these spoons in place um, out on the water. This stuff isn't that cheap, so uh, I would recommend paying attention um, to your packaging that you get. Um, a lot of times, uh, larger boxed material coming from like Amazon will often have some of this stuff as part of the packing material. Um, that's how I got a lot of mine. I got several large sheets of it uh, just through some relatively large packages we had delivered. And the last thing to know about the foam is that you're going to want it to be about an inch and a half thick minimum. Uh, two inches is fine. That's what I used in my box, but no less than an inch and a half. And the reason I say that is because you may need two sheets of it. If the, the sheets that you have are not thick enough, you can always double them up and glue them together and to get the thickness you need. And finally, if you have glow in the dark spoons and you'd like to have a way of keeping those things activated while they're in the storage container, uh, you'll need a strip of uh, LED black light. Um, I picked this up from Amazon. Um, I think it was 10 bucks. It's about a six foot long strip. It fits my box perfectly. And it's made to plug into a USB charging port on my boat. So um, if you don't have a USB port, there's different ones you can get for different configurations. But if you have a cigarette lighter type 12 volt DC port, you can always um, buy an adapter for that. And this USB one will plug into the adapter. So the first step is pretty straightforward. We're simply going to cut that high density uh, foam board into a size that fits our container. But as I mentioned earlier, the key is going to be making sure that you have at least an inch and a half of that foam material. So um, if your boards are thinner than that, you'll need to cut a couple of pieces and glue them together to make sure you get the required thickness. The next step is going to be to use some sort of utility knife or X-Acto knife to start cutting slits into the foam. Obviously, this can be tailored to whichever container you choose. Uh, in my case, um, I just elected to put them on a big grid, and um, I'm uh, spacing each one of the rows of these spoons out by about one and a half inches. That allows there to be a little separation between each row, and then as you go down each row, each spoon is separated by about one inch. And this allows the hook to kind of hang off the back. Um, you might elect to go a little bit a little bit further apart if you're worried about the, the hooks scratching up the next spoon in line. But um, I, I found this to be plenty of space. I, I'm not really worried about that. So with the dimensions of my box, which is 24 inches wide by 16 inches deep, um, it'll hold 120 spoons at the spacing that we just went over. Um, so lots of storage for lots of spoons. Uh, if you have a much larger collection, you can always add boxes and they can stack. But this is the best way I found to store trolling spoons, just in terms of accessibility and storability. So a quick word on UV light before we go too much further into the installation. Um, UV lighting comes in two different wavelengths for this type of application. You can get 365 nanometer UV and you can get 395 nanometer UV. Um, both work. Uh, the 365 will activate that paint much quicker and keep it bright a little longer, but it is also significantly more expensive. The stuff that you see here that I used is 395 uh, nanometer wavelength UV light, and I've tried it and it works fine for this application. But certainly, if you have the extra money and you just want that uh, longer activation 
and slightly brighter activation, then go for it. So to install this stuff, it's pretty darned easy. Uh, I chose to put it in just below the rib of the container and it's just a peel and stick strip. So just start working your way around the container. And when you get to the other side, there will be a little bit of overlap, um, but that's fine. It just provides that much more UV for glow in the dark activation. As a final note, you may want to apply some silicone to the uh, point where the power cord comes out of the end of the LED strip because any pulling stress on that power cord could result in it starting to lift the LED strip off of the, uh, off of the box there. So uh, a little gob of silicone, let it set up good, uh, should help secure that and prevent that from happening. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please consider uh, subscribing to our channel. Definitely hit that like button and thanks for watching.